here with some more ketone quick tips. We're here in Baxter National Park on the side of Mount Katahdin in Maine. We're on our way back down the mountain now. Had a great exercise up. Unfortunately, it started raining up there, so we had to head back down early. It was still a great trip overall. Got probably about three hours of cardio in. But I'm not here to talk about cardio today. I want to talk about creatine. Creatine is a supplement, but it's also naturally found in food. And I'd like to share my opinion on it. Maybe you should use it, maybe not, so stay tuned. So creatine is a, is a molecule, excuse me, of two amino acids. It's a combination of L-arginine and glycine. And these two molecules are naturally formulated in both the liver and in the kidneys of the body. You can find creatine in beef, chicken, and in small amounts in eggs and fish. I would recommend taking creatine if, first of all, if you have low levels of creatine in your body, or if you want to try out creatine for muscle building. I consecutively have taken creatine for probably the past three or four years now. I've taken various forms of creatine from my, the, my favorite, which is creatine monohydrate, to my least favorite, which is just straight creatine hydrochloride or creatine HCL. There are many different forms of creatine. There's, like I said, creatine monohydrate. There is creatine HCL. There is creatine AAB, which stands for something very complex that you don't need to know. And the research has shown that creatine monohydrate of all others has the most benefits. It has been shown to increase muscle output, increase muscle size, and muscle strength. It has also been shown that it can, in some instances, hold water, which I'll get to later. But how does creatine work in the body normally? So like I said, creatine is made in both the kidney and the liver, where a creatine by itself, that, that molecule that's composed of those two amino acids, is converted to creatine phosphate, where then creatine phosphate participates in the conversion of ADP to ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Now it's not important that you know that conversion or why that's happening, but what is important to know is that ATP is used in, by energy in the cell. Thus, if creatine is available by the cell, you will put out more energy. So if you are taking creatine into your diet in excess, so therefore you're eating beef or possibly supplementing creatine monohydrate, you will have the possible benefits from it. Now I would totally recommend taking creatine. Like I said, I've taken many forms and concurrently before the gym, I take three things. I take a caffeine supplement, either a pre-workout or just a straight cup of coffee. I take cod liver oil for my joints and for my face. And I also take Muscle Farms Creatine Complex. Now like I said, if you notice in the ingredient list of this Muscle Farm Creatine, there is four or five forms of creatine. The research has shown that only creatine monohydrate is actually giving the benefits, sorry, excuse me, there's a bug, the, the benefits of the creatine. And most of the others are for solubility, thus allowing the creatine to, to dissolve. So I would definitely recommend taking creatine. I don't do the whole loading phase of creatine where you take 20 grams of creatine for a week, see how your body responds, and then you wind down to about five grams a day. All I take is five grams, I throw the cup right in my mouth beforehand, doesn't taste too good but it's still I get the benefits from it I get the muscle output and I've noticed that using it in the long term I don't get that water holding detriment that if you want maybe it's a benefit for you maybe you want bigger fuller looking muscles but for me I want strong lean effective muscle so in the long term just doing five grams of this muscle farm creatine works very well for me so that's all I have for today there'll be more ketone videos to come please stay tuned if you have anything you'd like to see or any questions you'd like to ask, please leave the comments below or hit me up on Instagram or Facebook, which I'll leave my, my key tags at the end. Thank you again for watching and stay tuned. Bye bye. And as you may have seen in my previous video, my favorite snack is peppers. Peppers are delicious, nutritious, and they're so sweet that I love them 